for, but I like, I like the underdog story. I want to see someone in this game that we're sliding into right now. I want to see someone who hasn't played together very often just have a miraculous game sent from the gods. So yeah. they land, <laughs> and then it's Kinstar who lands there. They eliminate them okay, right out the gate. Okay, they don't have to. Okay, it doesn't have to be a miraculous game. And then they get eight eliminations, <laughs> and then they get the victory out. And Kitty's like, they take Look, your guys. advice of taking out Kinstar and Hunter. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then they have a miraculous also game. get Ooh, eight eliminations and heart. the victory out. Yes. Okay. Well, we'll see. We'll see. I see. mean, that's that's Fortnite. We can't predict that, that's except right. unless you're me. But unless uh, you're Kitty Place, who is no strong. <laughs> so that's correct. <laughs> Uh, man, look at this right off the oh, gate. Such a beautiful <gasps> rainbow of color. Did someone actually land floating island? Yes. We got two squads two up. up there. But uh, again, if you do this, you don't necessarily have to fight. It's your choice. That's true. If you, if you get overwhelmed, you get to leave. But what's interesting to me, and I don't know if that is Kinstar, because they've been typically landing greasy, I think. Um, I'm not sure which team that is, but... Yeah, it looks like he has gone for the loot, maybe tried an engagement and then left. Let's see Isma farming up Flesh Factory. Even look it's at a the lot of right metal side. There. Look at that. Look at this clump of players. I they're know. Over they're retail, still... toward lonely, even racetrack. Don't you just love watching them just spin around on the map? They're like, they're like oh, you can there. tell they're Ooh. like, oh, someone's here, someone's here. And you know the comms are like, uh, guys? <laughs> <laughs> There wasn't uh, supposed to be anyone here, but there's two squads with us. I don't think they got the memo. This was our turn. What are this they is doing my here? mansion. That's Ree. right. <laughs> Ree. Uh, over to Viking Village again. Oh, I love watching these early interactions here. I mean, it's a beautiful place to be, and you've got those easy rifts. Like, I can see why a lot of teams are choosing to be here. Um, there's a nice amount of loot right off the bat. And then you can choose based on zone. Are you going into snobby, getting aggressive, or greasy, or tilted? Um, and having that flexibility on map rotation is so key in these games. Now, here's the thing, though. What are the Oh, we're actually over to Tomato Temple. Rojo is down. Yux oh. has taken them both down. Oh. And so now Yux is like, hey, teammate, script. we got to keep <laughs> script, moving. Come on. You, I love when you see the, the no skins with the skins in the team. <laughs> like, oh, okay. Like, if the guy is going for the, the no skin strategy um, and his teammate's not, then what's, what's the point? <laughs> yeah, hey, there you go. You got to be like, hey, man, we're and, always and swapping get, it up. Everyone in here is a pro. Like, why, <laughs> why are you choosing to go no skin? <laughs> we all know that you're good at this game. You're not fooling anyone. I think they're trying to throw off other players because then, like, it's like if you're always changing your skin, you look and you're like, I don't know that person. I oh, see yeah, that person. I see. So you're but not, see, you see certain skins, you're like, that's liquid. You see yeah. It, yeah. Well, in that case, it was Ukes, and Ukes always runs triple threat and keep mm, it wings. So it's mm -hmm. like, you always know when you see triple threat and wings, you're like, Ukes. Ooh. Ah, listen, man. We see a fight to. happening at Edit House. So this is one of my favorite places to land when I was playing with Bizzle. It's really nice, again, like I said, for those rifts being to the northwest. Lots of resources for you. Um, and again, just having that flexibility. But it looks like other teams know about that nice flexibility. <laughs> Daylo. Daylo. You got this? Oh. He has Wait a second. HP. So Airwalks, I think, just finished that fight. So they just had their kill stolen. Uh, so they were able to get one of the ones. Um, but the other guy who was fighting on the ramp did go down to someone else. And that's not something you want to see, because you can tell yourself, if I would have been a little bit more aggressive, I have my teammate there to back me up, we would have gotten that elimination. Right. Um, and again, that's, that's another, elim another team, and you never, that's not someone you want to see. Yeah. That's, uh, that's uh, a feels getting bad a man. That's a feels yeah. bad man. Feels bad man in the jet. Feels bad man. Over at Paradise, you see uh, Zacubus, they uh, clean up a uh, duel there. So they got a few eliminations. Over to Airwalks and Gotaga. More fights at Edit House. Look at this. Airwalks These guys much, must have watched my VOD. Yeah, yeah. So this, <laughs> is what, this is what you talked about, right? <laughs> yeah. Airwalks was like, hey, you guys uh, are fighting. I would like some of these eliminations, please. So he, took he, he took one, and then he knew those guys were low because they just finished that engagement. And he's, Goes you know, I'm going to stop by. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to roll oh through. How are you guys doing? Yeah. How's it going? I'm Airwax. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Eliminations, please. Yeah, celery, by the way. <laughs> celery, by the way. No big deal. Over here, though, we see Nova and Tyke against the Vic and Vermax. Wait, is that like Vermax? It's a lot of X's. Is it like a hard X, or is that just like a... What do you think? <laughs> Vermax. <laughs> it's like the radio breaking uh, up. Hey, Vermax. 
So yeah, we do see right on top of the leaderboard with eliminations is Airwalk. So he does have those three elims now from taking one of those kills and then also uh, finishing off the duo. So that's that's the ideal situation to be in, exactly what they did. And if you can set that up in other situations, the third party style is very valid still. But it's just getting, it's, it's all about positioning. I think people think it's a lot about editing and firepower, and while those things are really important, having that positioning and being smart about where you're fighting and when, and uh, not getting sandwiched, you know, the meat and yeah. bread. And <laughs> <laughs> Always be the bread. I can't, I, I can't deal with that. Uh, it's just too funny. Uh, it makes sense. It does. No, it does. <laughs> so one of the things, uh, uh, bringing the fourth wall here, Chad, if you're listening, uh, hanging out with kitties are too fun, and fun because she's hilarious and she just says stuff that throws me off so hard. Like she just, <laughs> I don't know what it was you said uh, earlier that I just like lost it. Even in rehearsals yesterday you were saying something and I just like lost yeah. my mind. You're so funny. That's a good compliment. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Um, I'm pretty sure game. people just watch me for my gameplay though, but thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys, I'm sure people watch me because of how incredible I am. Yeah, I know yeah. I'm also funny yeah. and Nostradamus. Yeah. Continue complimenting me. Yeah, thank you. I know I'm the best. Keep going all day. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Brimax here, man. This is still well, I mean, a this fight is taking all day, so yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> We're still here. We're still okay to. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, Vermax. There you go. <laughs> Finally, an engagement is happening here. Yeah. Retail row. Nova goes down. Oh, that was really clean. So this is a one yep. one Get the oh. oh! Ah! 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 That was a... Uh, Hate to see it. That was yeah. Yeah, it was a <laughs> that was a tough one there. But now I mean, oh, uh, now coming in at the, alive. the right himself. angle, at the right time. I mean, it's never a good feeling when your teammate gets finished, but it's a great feeling just immediately like uh, getting mad at the person for that. Yeah. Or what? What? Uh, how do you disciplining? Disciplining. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Disciplining you're like, someone. You're like, no. Why did you hurt my teammate? You touch my teammate. Oh. I touch you. There you, there you go. <laughs> It's Razor and Ludo against Mitro. <laughs> Kitty. I'm sorry. I'm present. I'm here. Kitty, I need Mitro you. Mitro is oh. super low. Only 14 HP. He took down both. Oh. <laughs> and oh, then he danced no. on them. Not like this. This oh. Mitro does not know we're spectating either, so that was purely for the two guys he just knocked. <laughs> yeah. He was oh. like, hey, guys, nice try. Razor, oh, Lou, listen, rude. I'm Mitro. Oh, Sakoner and Orb are still alive. So Sakoner is one of the guys from my Fortnite. He's an incredible player. Really, really funny dude as well. And oh, this was so, this was great. And he was really low. Look at that. He pushes up his teammate. So he, I'm Wait. not even sure. I think he's just doing a lot of stuff on his own right now. Yeah, it's just um, my dream. He's like, I, I, I look, you just keep up. If you can, be close, but I'm just going to just start eliminating. I, I have to reinstate demigod status. His, I think that's what that was. Is his teammate uh, one of the other guys who haven't done skirmishes yet? I'm not sure. Okay. Because I've, I've seen, uh, just from spectating so far, there's a few people who have teammates that are new to skirmish, and you'll kind of see them playing a little bit separately. Like earlier with Svenos and his teammate, he's like, right. okay, I'm fine. I'm confident. I don't need you. Ooh, rules. Still alive. Great dude. Really fun to play with. And he's he's edge. in a, he's in a pretty bad position. The only thing that's in his favor right now is these two are focused on uh, his teammate, who has the high ground. So he's trying to make his move, maybe get some tags in. His teammate does get finished off. Uh, yeah, looking <laughs> to make a play. <laughs> oh, oh, Ollie! Oh. oh, so we've got another team coming in now. So it's rules, rules might be able to get his teammate up. <gasps> he's going for the. He's going to find Coco, no. looking for the revive. He had no, to bail. Coco's still alive. Look, he no. had to bail. He's close. He's close. He can get up. Come on, rules. Look, rules. Yes, right, right there. Below Look, he's you, right there. You go. Please. Just be quiet about it. Come on. So these guys are oh. so busy fighting. He, he did it. He, he went straight down. I you think, think you got it. I think he's going for it right now. Yes. Uh, Fortnite. Oh, you know what it is? It's sanity. Fortnite. Sanity's making a ton of no a noise that Tixi and Tom are like. So uh, sanity. What's going on? Sanity <gasps> was the one that got the knock on Rule's teammate, and I don't know if Tixi and Toma are aware that they didn't fully finish. It looks like they are, and oh, no, it looks like. They're oh yeah, they are. De they are definitely aware that these guys are down below. Uh, are probably hurting a little bit, but he's just he's charging in right now, Toma. He does have assistance from Tixi. Oh, able to focus rules together. And Coco, 
Oh. Not a lot of health, full shield, but that doesn't matter when he's got that heavy shotgun. That's right. Yeah. That's and a rift to go and a jump pad. Tixie, will we see 18 eliminations today? Oh, I mean, you talked about it. You want it to be Tixi, but look at this replay from Hunter <laughs> and Kinstar. Ooh. What so is going on? So we haven't seen on? a lot of these guys. Oh. There was so much that happened. I in think that they tiny got spin. a limb from fall damage. Something there, if I like saw that. correctly. If we can see the leaderboard, uh, I'd be interested to see how many eliminations they're sitting on right now. Um, I don't actually see it for them. So they might not have any yet. Or no, they just got two. They must have just got two. Uh, but Airwalks and Gotaga are sitting on three. Tixi and Toma taking out both duos. They now have four. So it's, it's that means one point. Looking good. Yeah. Man. Looking good on the path to 18. You know, <laughs> 64 remaining in the lobby. That's not too much of an ask. Listen, guys, Kitty's not asking for much. It's just 18. <laughs> okay? So I think they did just get one. Uh, Hunter, Hunter and Kinstar did just get one. So, I mean, with that dual uh, point. Oh, actually, that is no points yet. Sorry, they need to get four oh. points to have that uh, multiplier benefit them. Really clean building. Oh. They set the trap. He's just trying to create a little bit of space. So is he on his own right now fighting this against these that two? That is correct, yep. All right, good luck, sir. <laughs> that's all Kitty's got for you. Good luck, sir. I mean, that's never a good feeling to be in, but I mean, he's getting helped out right now with the third party. And these, as much as, if you're losing this battle fight or build fight and you hear another team starting to take shots on the other team that you're fighting, it's definitely a relief. But at the same time, in the back of your mind, you're thinking, oh, maybe I could have, you know, won this and gotten those eliminations. And am I going to lose these two eliminations now? But I think in his position right now with no shield, like, d okay, health, he's, it's, it's a relief. Yeah. <laughs> it's a relief. It allows him a t chance to breathe, take a little break, and, uh, realign his thoughts so he can win that build fight. I don't know if you saw, we saw for a moment, but Hunter and Kinstar, they basically built themselves a little fortress. I saw that. Just hanging out. Just a little one. Just a little it's one. It's just absolutely gigantic. But. It's just, you know, it's just classic Kinstar and Hunter. They're like, we're going to fortify, uh, we're going to be okay, and we're ready to fight. Oh, he's going for the escape, but I don't think he realizes oh, that yet. Devs. There's also another team on the hill. So while he was pushing away from Mao's, the devs or the V's, um, he was pushing into another team, so yeah. I'm not sure if he, that's not who he heard, or maybe he just heard them leave. But and ooh, still Bree building up on top. Paired with Ghost Camo, it looks like Zacubus and Freak are down below, but looking there's down also with her another duo. Yeah. And they're getting third party, <laughs> which actually at this point would be. Fourth is this is another Vu play. Find out on tonight's episode of the False Scream. Of Kitty plays, <laughs> Nost AKA Nostradamus. <laughs> I mean. This is what I like to see, you know, just, oh, Hulk. this Hulk. is what I like this. to see. <laughs> yeah, it was, they said, no, no, okay, hold on, wait, check this out over no, no, here, no. look, watch. You're impressed by that? Look at this. Yeah, watch uh, us, Kitty. Predict us to win, please. Wow. Uh, so, really, really wanting to pay attention to all the footsteps possible. It's really a great advantage now, especially with the changes that they just made recently to the footsteps. It's a lot easier to hear people that are above and below you. So you can use the sound of your eyes mm. to know where your opponents are. And uh, use your ears. Use your ears. Yes. I like that. Yeah. Okay. Airwalks and Gotaga still alive. Uh, I'm curious to see so why they pushed So I, I loved that, and then nothing happened. Yeah. You know, I pressed like, and nothing <laughs> happened. You liked and subscribed, Ooh. and nothing happened. So Connor and Orb. Okay, so th they're sitting up high with a uh, a purple assault rifle and an RPG firing down on these guys who are already fighting another team. Um, but I don't know if what they realize is there are a bunch more teams on this hill. Like looking at that mini map, look at what they're pushing into. They want to get in that zone. One more second, and now the storm is moving and they want to make sure that they're in a comfortable place. They can choose the fights that they're taking rather than just being pushed into them because of the zone. And uh, they just they just go for making a second floor apartment. Yeah. You know, they, they're sitting pretty. They want to get these late game eliminations. They want to get the top five points because every single time they get one of those points, it's times two. That's right. And right now they've only got the one elimination, so it's not much to work with, but they're like, hey, we're Kinstar, we're Hunter. We're gonna just be patient. Yeah. We'll wait it out. Especially now, this is kind of chaos, and uh, choosing not to fight during this is probably their best play, but we'll see. 
Oh, there's the map. So you see a few people in Divot. Man. And But most of the action right now is that, that bottom side. So what you don't see in the, from the camera's perspective is Hunter and Kinstar are actually on top of a team. And then there's two teams on top of each other close. Oh, and these guys are deciding to make a play. They don't like the second floor apartment footsteps. Have you ever had that? Oh, you guys are too loud. It's you guys are too loud up there. 11 p.m. Don't stomp around. <laughs> you go to bed at 11 p.m.? I actually go to bed at like 9. I I'm knew it. I'm, an, I'm a grandma. Oh. So, well, it's because I, li I like my EU community a lot. I like waking up early for streams. Yeah. Shout out to you. Love you guys. I wish, uh, <laughs> I wish I could go to bed at 9 p.m. That'd be amazing. Uh, well, when you wake up early, it's a lot easier. And See, I, I do both. Oh. Oh, wait, I go to sleep late and I wake oh. up early. Uh, that's great. Yep, this is life right now, uh, but here so we fun. are. That's so fun. Oh, so Tixie and Toma now have... Oh, did they just get eliminated? Uh, I believe... Oh, they might have. Because they we're sitting at four kills or eliminations. Oh, so okay, Toma they start, goes, are still up. Down. So Toma's down. Tixie's still alive. Um, and I'm not sure how talented a player Toma is, but in a lot of these situations where you have people that are new to the skirmishes and they're picking up these pro players, um, sometimes it's honestly nice for them to just be on their own and be making those decisions and not being worried about making the calls for the teammates, um, making the base wide enough, maybe mis-editing and messing them up. So it's it's definitely an an, an, an interesting element to uh, weeks like this. So I think we call that play your life. Player. Play play your life. Play like, your life. Like you play you. Yeah. And I'm gonna you do you. I'm gonna do me. But you know. the reason why we see Hunter and Kinstar doing so well is that they do them, and then they also support very very easily and almost with second nature. See, I would almost argue that it's basically they are one person split into two. Like that's <laughs> that's how much they play together. Uh, these are twins. They are twins. Yes. That yeah, separated at birth and yeah. uh, have reunited, and now they're just titans. So. <laughs> uh, Look at that, Gotaga and Airwalks. Nox is applying pressure to them. Yep. And it's now going down to Rush. Oh, Rush just finished off Loya as well. Loya goes so down. I'm not sure if that was a f an engagement that happened as everyone was moving. Like this is this is the time that if you're feeling confident and you can take that shot, it's a great time to pick up eliminations. But again, a lot of people like here, they have an easy shot on those two, but they're opting to get into zone, get safe, and then make decisions. Because if you don't trust yourself enough on the go, then it's often just best to just relax. Yeah, play yeah. play safe. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Because you know you very could very well could walk over uh, a hill and see like a duo down there. And you're like. In pubs, <laughs> I would shoot them. Yeah. These are good players, so if I shoot them, they're probably gonna one by one. They'll build once. Yeah. yeah. And then if I'm like, oh, hi! I just shot. I made the noise. Everyone else that was watching, Kinstar doesn't even have an SMG, so is he really gonna contest walls with spam? And yeah. So he. I mean, I like this. This is a nice little, little lineup. You know, you've got the heavy, you've got some minis, and you got an AR with enough ammo to make you to the end of the game. And, ooh, looking at this zone right away, you see them. Immediately, these guys are on top of it. They're yeah. making the new base right up against the line. So when that storm starts to move, they're going to just be perfectly positioned to get the shots on the other players who are probably maybe a little bit caught off guard. Um, and doing the the run, build, run and gun and build. Is run and gun and build. <laughs> Oh, Tixie. Still alive. All right. Four eliminations. Look yes. at this guy, Kitty. Our most aggressive player in the world. Tixie, do us proud. I'm really, really excited to see some amazing plays out of him. I want to know why uh, EU is so hyped about this man. I think we're looking at it right now. <laughs> even without Toma, he's like, hey, guys. And he's not even in the zone. He's got a little bit of a ways to go. So I yeah. think what he's looking to do is potentially open up some eliminations before the storm starts to move. and. He's right at that bottom line. So where people really need to be worried is that north line of the zone uh, where that's going to be moving the fastest. So he knows it's going to move slow enough that I can walk or run out of this. But the chaos of other people knowing they have to move, I'm going to take advantage of. Yeah, so. I mean, take a look. So TC has four eliminations. And Toma had pad, one. Apparently. That means that they do meet that first Ooh, threshold. He's <sighs> look at that he's beautiful city play. everyone is building. So nice. <laughs> I Stop love on seeing that. through the new Fortnite city. Yeah. Uh, it's near Dusty. <laughs> Designed by you. Oh. 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 oh! oh! Coming up to an open window with an explosive is never something you want to see, but it looks like he's managed to build his way out of it. 
getting safe on top. And again, like when people open a window like that, okay, so he goes for the shot, he doesn't get it, but now that window's open. If there's anyone else who has a shot through that window, they're gonna be looking to third party. So you wanna close that back up, wait for another opportunity. Like a spider. <laughs> like a spider. I like it, yeah. I like it. Still, look, Kitty, we're, we're 43 players yes. left in the current lobby. Madsen and Blackstone. Yeah, and they're, they're sitting nice. Look at the guns they have. Like, they, they've got great guns, a f uh, fireplace, campfire. Campfire. <laughs> fireplace. I like them. In their city, you want to pop up yeah. the fireplace. Um, their minis and, and lots of ammo. You're sitting with 200 SMG ammo. You know you're going to be able to spam through these walls. And this late in the game when people don't have that many resources. Oh. Ooh. The edit plays. Ooh. And it's Teeksy. Teeksy goes down. Oh, not like this. All right, oh, so wow. five limbs. That does get them another point. So they're going to slow crawl their way up and then hope that they get that one game that's going to be really uh, set them up for the top five. Oh, Rasmussen! He it is threads not, not the what needle. you like to see. Just going for the heal. Ooh, they got a Porter Rift off of that, but they got to go quick. Look at this zone. It's 100% out of the previous zone. None oh. of the build is going to be viable anymore. And look at that. Doesn't go to take out the wall. He's like, no, I can just lean against it. Get this rift with you, but look, look, below look how him. many other people look also had the rifts. So if anyone right now is looking up, there's going to be a lot of opportunities to get some shots. But I think people are just so focused on the things that are happening down here on low ground. Kinstar taking out Orb. Hate to see it with a trap. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> My boy is on the fourth night, but I think Sakona is still alive because it looked like that was just a knock. And again, looking for that best positioning. These guys are so good at knowing exactly where they need to go, what level is best and is going to benefit them the most, and lots of people going down. This is this is intense. Wow, and look at that. So immediately, Kinstar is like, Hunter, don't worry, buddy. I've got you. How many players are going down? Camo's down, down below. Any Fuchsia went out to zone. A lot. Let's listen to oh. the, watch the kill feed. Look at all these trap limbs. Jules just going down to a trap from mobs. Uh, Sage King's just <laughs> chucking the explosives out the window, closing it back up, hoping for the best. Taking a few shots. And again, when you when you're sitting here with 53 AR ammo, I mean that's that's a clip and a half. That's not something you want to see. Yeah, and I mean the other thing you can default to is the SMG. You're like, uh. And in this close quarters, that's not the best. I mean, that's not the worst idea. That's definitely he knows he has that, but it, it, this is when well, it gets tough. Your resources aren't the best. Your ammo is not fantastic. He just took some 20 storm damage. Oh boy, he's running for his life. It's okay. You got it's okay, Sage. Sage. I believe, believe in, in yourself. You. <laughs> and again, saving those uh, explosives for that last zone. Yeah. But as the game goes on, certain items just get a lot more valuable. So early game, while that explosive might not be as great, I mean, it's still a great thing in the game. But when you're in that close range, if you're able to chuck one of those in that final zone and there's a few people either healing and it'll uh, delete their builds and they'll come down and it'll cancel, or maybe there's a few people shotgunning inside that zone and you're able to get that elimination. But Mitro, the demigod. haven't seen a lot of him, but of course, it's getting close. Racking up first. elimination. 24 people alive, so 23 Oh, so you're now. saying he could drop this 18 <laughs> no, bomb that no, you're looking no, for. No, That's what I'm hearing. No. So they have three <laughs> eliminations total, looking for that next elimination for the one point. Uh, we got quite a few people sitting at two. Uh, Yuke's and Script is also sitting on three. So these guys really want to get that next elimination to get that next point. This is this is what's really important for these uh, guys as well as potentially getting that top five. But with 23 people alive still, a lot of solos, these guys are <laughs> not going to be that close. Oh, Hunter and Kinstar are still alive, alive Kitty. Looking and check pretty. it out. Got lots They've got of one point. Don't forget they won the they got the victory out last game, so the points are <gasps> double. You're right. How so many this, eliminations? They four. have four. Okay. So this so is one point, which is now times two, two points. Okay. Yes, currently. That's great. And let's check out this replay of oh, them getting that Hunter elimination. Hunter just went down. Kinstar is fighting right now. We're seeing the replay, but if you look at that bottom right screen, his teammates. Oh! oh, 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 oh there was oh, 
Oh, 15 so too. People. You do not want to be dropping into zones like that unless you got the sticky. Okay, ideally, you put the sticky on your teammate, they drop in there when you see like four players. Look at this, some players already, already committing off. to the heal off. Oh, That's right. my. Evil's down, Sludge down. <laughs> Sage is going down as well. Reflection taking those shots down with the RPG. That's this oh, is coming down to the wire. Finally three. going down. Three people lost in the zone. Mitro's still alive? Oh, oh. no, wait. He oh. does it. How? Stop. And he does the Capuana. He's like, look. I think oh. he. I think he's mad I uh, downgraded his demigod. Wow. I think, I think he wants that demigod spot again. Wow. Uh, okay. What an icon. Mitro. Uh, stop. You're I so good. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, Mitra's a little too strong. I'm gonna playing to... a different game from all of us. I <laughs> He's playing Fortnite. We're all playing chess. But, What's going on? I mean, when you see these players not go for the heal off in this situation, like the pressure.